In this video, we're going to give you a quick overview of some of the options that you have when working with toolpaths. Creating toolpaths and preparing the data in order to apply toolpaths to it will be covered in detail in the machining section of the main tutorial videos. So here you can see a part that we have open. We're already in the toolpaths tab and I can see my 2D view and my 3D view. The first thing is I have this toolpath list here. It's possible for me to actually detach this by clicking on this icon and to get a floating menu. That could be useful because I may want to rename the toolpaths, change the order that I've got here, or I might want to have that up even when the toolpath tab is uh, undisplayed and I'm back in the drawing tab. Just hide that here. In the list, the order can be important, especially if I'm running a tool changer, because it's going to go in the order that the toolpaths are actually in the list if I output them all as a single file. Some of the other things from the list is this, this little visibility check mark. If I uncheck this, what it's going to do is undraw the toolpaths in the 3D view and simultaneously it's, un it's going to undraw the 2D previews. Any toolpath that has a 2D element to it, like the profile cut, when I've got this checked and this checked, will show up in the 2D view and you'll see these arrows on it giving me an indication of exactly how that toolpath works. If I click on the solid view, then it'll actually show me in the 2D view the area that's going to be machined out by that particular tool. So these are all handy ways to get a quick visual check of what the toolpath is going to do. As well as the list of toolpaths here, I have my toolpath operations. First one is very important when I come into the toolpath operation manager for the first time, and that's to set up my material. After that, we essentially have a row of what are a more or less referred to as 2D toolpaths. On the whole, these are things like V-carving, uh, profile cutting, pocket machining, drilling, and the, and the texturing toolpath option in Aspire. The one difference with these in Aspire is the fact that they can all be applied onto a 3D surface. So although they're technically a two-dimensional toolpath, they could be applied so that they're projecting onto the 3D. In the next row, I have my 3D roughing and 3D finishing toolpaths. In order for these to cut any kind of definition into the shape, then I need to have something in the 3D view. They'll only work on any visible components or on the working model. If I can't see any kind of 3D component tree in the, the 3D view, then my toolpaths, my 3D toolpaths won't do anything. Next I have the ability to recalculate all the toolpaths, and then we come to a few more admin tools down towards the bottom here. If I want to go ahead and recalculate a toolpath, I can either double click on it, and change the parameters, or I can click on this icon here, which will do the same thing, and open the selected toolpaths menu. Have the option here to make copies of a toolpath. I can delete a toolpath from the list by clicking on this icon here. And I can get an estimate for how long the toolpaths are going to take to cut here. Finally, when we come to output the toolpath, we're going to choose this option, and then choose whatever post-processor is suitable to our machine. The bottom row gives me some control over the 3D view, the ability to go back to the drawing tab, and finally a preview option here, which allows me, if I want, to take any of my toolpaths and simulate them in a virtual piece of material so I can see exactly what they're going to look like once they're cut on the CNC machine. So this has very much been kind of a whistle-stop tour of the toolpaths and some of the ways of administering those within the list and some of the icons. As we mentioned before, we're going to cover all this in detail, show you how to prepare the data, how to create the toolpaths, and even through how to preview and to save them out for a, a different CNC machines in the machining tutorials. That concludes this quick overview of the toolpaths.